So you might have heard that Vermont and other parts of the Northeast were almost entirely forested prior to European colonization. Learning about the conditions that were common on our landscape for thousands of years is really important because those are the conditions that our native species evolved to for millennia. And you might be asking yourself, while an environment like the hayfield behind me was totally not around on our landscape until very recently, how is it that we see some of these species of birds here now? As I was walking in here, I flushed a woodcock and I'm hearing chipping sparrows and song sparrows. Other than old growth forests, an environment that would have been really common is all of these different habitats associated with beaver wetlands. So here in Vermont, we think we had as many as 300 beaver dams per square mile. That's about a beaver dam every two acres. When beavers create habitat, they don't just create open water habitats. They also actually create a succession of different habitats across the landscape. One of them that occurs when a beaver dam is abandoned or silts in is called a beaver meadow. So most of these bird species that seem really well suited to environments like this probably adapted those traits that allow them to utilize and to be successful in those environments in old beaver meadows.